what's made you what's got you so mad today? Me? Yeah. Because everybody wants to run. Everybody wants to run. That's good. Shut that ass. 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 When you start walking, my friend, and you get 10 and 15 miles on the highway, when you start walking, my friend, you'll be half, 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 half dead. It's a showlistic big attitude. It's a showlistic big, big attitude. It's a showlistic, showlistic, show, show, show big attitude. That you're gonna do something because you work, you work, you work, you work at the arsenal, man. You got a fucking Mercedes Benz, and you ain't got to walk every day, so you don't get out. Shut that ass, shut that ass. Perspective number five. Five alive. And I have a few announcements. Uh, within the next few days, the Alter Perspective will start being on SoundCloud, which also means it'll be on iTunes and all those other places where you can download audio podcasts. That's coming very soon. And uh, also coming very soon uh, is strutting that ass. Yes, strut that ass. It is catchy. Strut hey, hey Pitmonk, do you have do you have a little strut? You want? I I do have a strip, but every time I do it, I shit myself. So <laughs> never mind. You guys, uh, wipe that ass. Yeah. Wipe that ass. Wipe that ass. Wipe wipe that ass. That's what white privilege right there. <laughs> wipe privilege. Some of us can't reach. Those of you that can reach your buttholes have white privilege. Yeah, you skinny fucks. You we gotta be careful up. with them. Create them suppositories, man. <laughs> yeah. We haven't come up with a with an exact schedule yet, but I think pretty soon. We'll let you guys know the exact days that we'll be doing the show, and it'll be the same days and pretty much the same times uh, every every week. Yeah, so we'll be doing at least two a week. After this show, I don't know how how many of the four of us are going, but uh, we're going to Twitch. Uh, we're oh. we're gonna we're gonna do two hours of the normal show here, and then we're gonna take a short break, and then we're going over to Twitch. Uh, Twitch TV forward slash Drunken Ben Pie. <laughs> Link in the description. And I don't want to spoil it for anybody who's wondering what we're going to do, but I got word we might be doing some Tetris. <laughs> I, yeah, I got word that a bunch of Koreans might end up watching. Tonight. It's going to be a Korean Tetris challenge. I, I'm I did excited. not know that Koreans loved Tetris until yeah. I played Tetris on Twitch. And all Hell of a yeah. sudden, there's all these people Joe. typing Love Korean. You carrot. I'm down, man. I'm there. I'm w fucking cares. there. Tetris is one of my favorite games, man. We got to try to play the all the diff as many different versions of Tetris as we can, man. I don't know we how many have, different versions you have, but like I, we also suggest, have Trivial Pursuit too, which is actually surprisingly fun. I'm gonna suggest that we do uh, 
live action Tetris if we can get enough donations. Live action yeah, well, Tetris. We hire a bunch of a like fucking Tetris movie. They've got three. They're making a trilogy. <laughs> I heard it's gonna be aliens. Tetris, yeah, a trilogy. A trilogy with aliens. A trilogy. A trilogy. A trilogy. Live action Tetris would be like we take midgets and stack them on top of each other until they mm -hmm. fall over. I think that would be good. <laughs> Corpse midge? Oh, yeah, a little dwarf corpse midge? A little corpse midge action? So a bunch of Chris Ray guns stack them on top of each other. <laughs> oh, Chris damn. Ray gun, what he lacks in height, he makes up for in uh, dick size. That man's yeah, carrying... Uh, he's got a Louisville slugger in the front end of his trousers. I think he's trousers. Like Puerto Rican or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, are they known for I, big dicks? Pit, I, oh, I don't shit. monk's third Pit testicle. Third testicle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it just gave us five bucks. It didn't show up, but I'll read it. Uh, was at a Vegas Golden Knights game and saw someone wearing a Billy the Fridge shirt. Billy is loved nationwide. Really? That's that's the pro hockey team in Las Vegas, the Golden Knights. Wow. Yeah. That's that's ridiculous. Well, yeah. Well, my third was like, wow. never been to Vegas, so I don't buy that. Don't you? Uh, <laughs> Don't you feel a little fucked in your head ever after having to watch those movies earlier? Oh yeah, Ben and I watched uh, back to back double features for the for the drunken peasants Patreon. We did uh, Mr. Nanny first, which <laughs> was <laughs> I'm just gonna say it out right here. Hulk Hogan is one of the greatest actors of our time, and he, even he couldn't save this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and and Is the follow-up that's the hulk hogan one right that's not yes, the one with yeah. michael keaton no, no. that's uh, mom yeah mr mom yeah yeah this is mr nanny mr the, nanny the it's fucking off. terrible <laughs> and then and then after that almost immediately after we went directly into rocky five which is the most fucking terrible rocky movie Tommy like Gunn. Dude, I'm a yeah, Rocky again. Five apologist, man. I've I never seen a, it before. Actually, an all right movie, man. I never saw it before. You know ben what? said it was bad, it's and I was terrible. like, "Dude, this is awesome." And it you want to know fight. what else is fucked up? We we figured this out while watching the movie. Okay. <laughs> 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 fucking, fucking the the kid who plays Ro Rocky's son in Rocky Five actually is his son. Yeah. yeah. And he died in 2012, and then in 2013. Tommy Gunn, Tommy Morrison died of AIDS like a, a year, year later. later. So we're what? talking the two son figures to Stallone in this movie. Wow. One his actual son. They they died like a year apart. That's that's crazy. And Stallone's career died somewhere around that time too. Um Stallone? Thank you, Ruby. No, Did joking, cliffhanger? Ruby sent us uh she said she loves us. I love so. you too, love Ruby. Oh, All right. You. All right, so uh, I love you. I love you. Uh, really quick, one last thing, and then we'll get into the the show itself. I have three hundred and thirty-two patrons, two thousand six hundred and twelve dollars on Patreon. Ooh, that's ridiculously yes. close and to the three thousand uh, dollar yep. level, where oh, I yeah, will dress man. up as Trap Billy with Trap Ben. Yeah, it's getting really close. Elephants on Coke, Korean swear words for your tetris stream okay. I, what's that Kaiski? i don't know if i could learn those i know if i would just get it up to them six thousand anyway. dollars on the patreon maybe we should come out with a trap calendar and we could have the trap <laughs> versions of all four of us in the fucking oh calendar. oh my god and then if it's like nineteen thousand, we'll do trap porn, and we'll all no. just have one big org orgy. Yeah. No, fold my folds like origami. You guys can, and I'll just keep the money. How about that? <laughs> Who are you, Vince McMahon? Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Evan said he'll blow you know, everybody. <laughs> and and by the way, just as a reminder, uh, obviously Streamlabs and, and all those different ways to contribute to the show. That pops up on the screen here. But yes, if you become a patron, also, you'll get something like this showing up on the screen. And it actually happened while we were doing the movie reviews yeah. a few times. <laughs> a few people became patrons and it just like showed up on the screen. Sweet. Cool. Hell yeah, we cry. appreciate the patronage, y'all. And you're going to fucking get your money's worth with this trap Ben. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's okay. <laughs> oh, Even though like, Ben says he can't like physically tuck his penis thing. back for trap Ben, 
We we have confirmation there will be a makeup and uh, will it be a dress. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna have to find this shit. Oh, I know. Yeah, I don't ben have. Sexy, dude. I don't have. Oof, Trap Ben was sexy like 20 years ago. <laughs> you know, yeah, Ben, ben what showed are you gonna me. Do if Pimp Monk or Billy or me starts hitting on you, man, what the fuck is gonna happen? I'm gonna man? I'm gonna fucking end the stream. <laughs> so you could so you could work I, one out. You, yeah, so yeah, no coming on to Trap yeah. Ben, y'all. None of that. No sexual no, harassment. Tra Trap Ben. Yeah. I, I won't be able to handle that shit. <laughs> that would be sexual harassment, huh? <laughs> Damn. I have a few plugs I have to do. Uh, do you like, do you love political and religious satire, mad pseudoscience, alternative history, and documentaries? Check out youtube.com slash trust your sources and watch the documentaries you love. We have full-length animated documentary on Jesus called Sins of Our Savior and an animated documentary on Muhammad called To Catch a Prophet. Find out how JFK and Reagan defeated Hitler in alternative history documentary World War II. And once again, that's YouTube.com slash Trust Your Sources. I forgot to put it in the description, but I'll put it up there uh, in a little bit here. Holy yeah. shit, that um, sounds deep, man. I gotta check this deep. shit out. Man. I got a few more here, too. Um... So there's also a channel. Uh, it's made by an English teacher that does a literary analysis on of comic books and talks about comics from an academic perspective. The channel is youtube.com slash Mr. C's Comics. That's M-R-C-S-C-O-M-I-C-S. -C -C Mr. C's Comics. Check that out. And I think I got one more here. Uh, yes, we have Ian Reitmeyer. He's the, the uh, knowledge nut. He uploads articles and videos about topics in science, politics, social issues, etc. He uploads new article or video every Sunday. Examples of past work he has done include such things uh, as self-assisted suicide should be allowed, the issues of school, and will AI take over? Thanks for the patronage, by the way. And much more. Check it out. Uh, you can go to theknowledgenut.com. Um, or you can go to the channel, which it doesn't have a vanity URL, so I'm going to have to... I'll be posting all this stuff, uh, at least, you know, check it out. It'll be in the description eventually here. Has AI already taken over? No. Yes. D do we know that? <laughs> if the we look at the way that social... Happened, man. I was going to tell you, you know, people think that human beings are the highest power in existence, but it's like... Dude, yeah, human beings who elected Donald Trump as their president are the fucking highest power. No, artificial intelligence is way more powerful than human beings. Like an AI god, they're like gods, man. God is an AI. That's what God is, is a fucking artificial intelligent, all-powerful being. It can see out of every webcam. It can hear out of every microphone. What if the God internet was artificial intelligence? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. So, you know, yeah. I just... I, I'm not following you there. Like, I, I don't quite believe... I, I do believe we have AI, but I don't think we've reached that point yet. If AI has taken over, like, they have the Russians doing those, uh, like, Facebook um, m the mining, you know, where they sit in the oh. offices in Russia and try and uh, sway the American social uh, zeitgeist or... or well, th th that was reported. That's how, like, Trump and everybody were fighting against each other in 2016. They, they had their, their hands on that. It wouldn't be that hard to write, like, an AI code that just perpetuates that you know and then someone lets go of it and the ai starts learning and they see where all the vitriol is coming from and they just di direct it like accidentally are we living in that storm of information without anybody controlling it except the echo chamber of uh, humanity probably not no <laughs> I, I, you know what though it is a, it is a serious question to ask and like self-replicating ai you know, uh, basically making our existence obsolete. That's I, I think that's a, a valid concern. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you know, I think a computer can figure out things that would take human beings thousands of years to figure out by upgrading itself and but I, oh, you know, okay, including yes. time travel, including time travel. So, time travel. hey, Terminator's based on a true story. We're in it, uh, y'all. <gasps> And but the AI is on it. our side. The AI is on our side. They man, do have those sex robots that are coming out right now. It won't be oh, too much yeah. longer until the sex robots learn consent. Then we're, then we're <laughs> fucked. Oh, oh, we're fucked then, man.
Maybe they should start with dildos. You'll have to get the dildos consent, man. You know what I mean? Before you can <laughs> do whatever Dildo, you do, do I have your permission? Dildo. <laughs> can you enter me now? <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, man. I have I have a special video. Okay. From a, it, it's actually a public service announcement from the vigilant Christian Mario. Oh. <clears throat> hey, Faith family. I pray you guys are doing well. I'm actually in uh, beautiful Cancun, Mexico, this week Hi, for guys. my sister's wedding. I know some of you know, and uh, that's the reason I look like a raccoon with this suntan. Oh well. Anyways. Okay. Uh, I want to do a quick broadcast here live. Uh, normally with the parents we need to talk video series I would do a video but since I'm on vacation right now uh, I'm actually unable to uh, so apparently that Mexican internet that you're on <laughs> is real. garbage <laughs> don't build a wall build video. a Wi-Fi but uh, I can jump on here live and uh, discuss these things with you uh, so let's go ahead and get right into it now if you haven't seen my previous videos this is a video series called parents we need to talk about and the point of this video series is to help you, mom and dad, because I know uh, I was a rebellious kid. My parents can tell you <laughs> I, maybe we'll have mom and dad on for they, they, a They use the word rapscallion to, to describe me? Because I was that out of control, rebellious teen that was yes, you know, he's he's only been a lost. And <laughs> he's only been a Christian for like four years or something yeah. like that, you know. He's been Christine for a long time, though. <laughs> Very hard for my parents to parent, guard, and protect, and instruct, and all that stuff. Um, so, I know that because it was hard for my parents, it's also hard for parents these days to, uh, you know, do it themselves as well. Uh, my parents were not able to stay on top of everything that was popular and the trends and stuff and it's just normal there is no older generation that's going to be capable of staying on top of what the kids are getting into I don't at know. 100%. my dad eats tide pods <laughs> no, he doesn't. so basically it's he's true. pissed off at his parents <laughs> because there was nobody like him out there making these informative videos about the illuminati exposing all this shit so that they could have guarded him from that raising him you know so what this that's is that's how he became a rap scale you know what this is uh, because his last video was a do you know d way video this really yeah and this is uh and, and he was like d way is to jesus but oh, really? uh yeah yeah but this one is he's telling people not to eat tide pods so <laughs> All he's trying to do is to come up with some kind of clickbait video, which yeah. is the secret to YouTube. It's true. A lot of <laughs> a lot of people say the vigilant Christian is a closeted homosexual. Oh, I don't think oh, it's really? really no way. Yeah. Maybe yeah, he should go to the gay lives, club and say, "Do you know jobs, the gay?" All those things. Back in my younger years, <laughs> and that's just reality. I choked down a lot of cum right now, but. We live in a world where there are negative influences and things that the kids. No, don't are you know into. if you read the Bible, That's... it erases all the cum you've ever swallowed, man. <laughs> I just use it as like a napkin because there's way too much. <laughs> uh, we need to um, be vigilant and aware and discuss. And parents need uh, a way to be informed. So what I do, my job in creating this video series, Your job? is I work full time to the do the work. He does. He has a he has a sunglasses tan line. It's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> for you makes his so nose you look extra here, pronounced. And I will look yeah. into the trendy things, the, the idols that they look up to, all the stuff uh, that they've been doing, so that uh, you can be made known and you can go ahead and sit down with them. And I see a whole bunch of people here who are saying, "What's going on with Tide Pods?" Well. Tide Pods has become what's called the Tide Pod Challenge, where kids and foolish teenagers uh, are eating Tide Pods. Now, if you don't know what a Tide Pod is, it's basically uh, what you uh, would... It's soap. It's like detergent. I had the Tide Pod yeah. talk with my niece and my nephew because they're like 8 and 10. I was like, hey, you guys hear about this Tide Pod mean? They're like, yeah. I was like, you're not eating fucking Tide Pods, are you? They're like, no. <laughs> We're not I had the stupid. same conversation with my little cousin the other day. I was like, "Don't do that shit." I cannot no, believe no, no. people are eating that shit. I don't. I don't think I, most. I think. I think most of the people eating them are parents who think it's cool, so they're they're spreading it on Facebook because they think their kids are actually doing it. It's like a reverse troll. That's but, gross. You know, there was like a real famous YouTuber that did it, and DeFranco got all pissed off about it because she did it. Some black chick. And well, she, yeah, and but she, she, 
The video got terminated. Yeah, it did. I did. But she got reverse trolled. And uh, it cleans. Now, it this cleans. stuff is absolutely uh, satanic. Uh, not satanic. What? Uh, he's, uh, he's so used to saying. Himself. Yep, he's so, so used, used to, to calling everything satanic that he's like, satan. Oh, actually, no, I'm wrong. I was waiting Screenshot. for him to say that it's the fucking satanic. Pod. It's the part of the devil. <laughs> See, Look this could that, be man. this could be made into so many awesome things. This could be photoshopped. <laughs> he just seen a giant cock. I mean, like putting this onto like gay porn, he would look so happy. And, <laughs> and no matter what situation you put him in, yeah, no doubt, man. Good the old jizz, like Christian, the jizzling so Christian. He Let's guess. What is he going to say? What is this motherfucker going to say? Is he going to say next that it's all an Illuminati fucking plot to get kids to put this shit in their mouth? Let's is see. that really where he's going with this? Or is it's it toxic. Satan? Uh, con eating it is stupid, uh, but it is absolute poison. And why are they doing this? Now, we have to sit back, mom and dad, and ask ourselves, why in the world would our children have any desire to do that For well it is because we are now seeing the younger generation losing sight of the fact that they believe that their value comes strictly from um how popular they are social media has created a world in which they value themselves by the amount of followers they have by the is amount of attention is that they <laughs> he's not wrong here though he's well does wrong. he have a lot of followers like what's his number at oh he's he uh like how many Let's see how many subscribers he has. Yeah, he's got yeah. a lot, man. He really does. <clears throat> yeah, he, because he, really he makes is popular. these. He admitted what he does. He just looks for what's popular, calls it satanic, makes a lot of views, <laughs> gets a lot of subs, and it's like, dude, he's like he projecting has, right now. He has four hundred and seventy-eight thousand, almost four hundred seventy-nine thousand. And he don't know how to turn his camera sideways. I mean, he's filming <laughs> on his phone or whatever. You right could now. you could turn your phone sideways. It's uncomfortable. But this is good, huh? Billy. Really <laughs> I I don't know, man. I, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this guy. He pisses me off. You can turn your camera I sideways at four hundred k. I look fat draw to tatty. themselves and so this has become a viral challenge and so kids who post this will get a ton of attention but what you need to sit down with your kid mom and dad is to instruct them and, and show them that that type of attention i like mario who has no children giving parenting advice to parents yeah. It's like what for doing those type of things is not worth it i mean if he was like studying child psychology or something i'd be like oh okay one day him and his partner might adopt his partner. like it's it's not out of the He's question a soldier in the god's army ben he can do uh and it. that they should value themselves more than just mindlessly seeking after attention uh even if it puts their body at danger and they look absolutely foolish so mm -hmm. That's basically all I have to say about the challenge. There's not too much going on. It started off as a meme. Uh, th if you don't know what He's memes are, mom Canadian and dad, it's not that they're bad. About, <laughs> There's man. Christian He's memes and all that, but they're very, very powerful to the young generation. And uh, the Tide Pod ended up becoming a meme. And so that's it. It was uh, by that meme that all of a sudden... Um, these kids got the concept that they were going to start uploading videos. Oh, and there's actually right, one Billy. guy on You've YouTube. Got, you're on to something, Billy. We got to create a positive meme, man. Not, <laughs> maybe it's this Tide Pod shit. We got Tide Pod and Ugandan Knuckles and all this other stupid shit. Donald Trump. Come are on, man. We got to come up with something. Are yeah. all of his followers like out of touch Christian parents? I have no idea. I, I'm watching this right now, parents, and this is so fucking boring. His his oh. new videos and stupid aren't the same. He used to make like 20 videos a day. Oh my god! And now he only kind of like comments on what the big, like what everybody's talking about that day. But this is yeah, this is the same guy Billy who thinks The Simpsons is all about the Illuminati. He thinks, well, it is. He thinks <laughs> yoga is satanic. Yeah. That's Who do you think made crazy. Steve Gutenberg a star? Illuminati. <laughs> it's all about Gutenberg with Billy, man. Hell well, that's yeah. a Simpsons reference, right? Steve Gutenberg yeah. and the the, yeah. the the stone masons or whatever. There's a million stone followers cutters. called stone cutters, Gay yeah. God. No joke. That's Gay the name God. of the YouTube, YouTube <laughs> channel. Gay God. And he's eating a Tide Pod. So don't be like Gay God. 
on YouTube <laughs> and eat pie. Are you really? How can you say that with a straight face? That's a great <laughs> sound clip. Don't be like gay god. Pods, kids. Okay, you're smarter than that, and you don't need that type of attention. It is absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so mom and dad. You need to know that the kids have what's called a Tide Pod Challenge that got inspired by a viral meme that now has kids because some of them want to have likes and followers and attention on social media because that's how they value themselves, are ingesting toxic chemicals into their bodies. Here's, uh, so. here, Billy, here's one of his older videos from like a year ago. John Cena, Satanic Does Illuminati, he cry WWE Champion promoting 666. <laughs> Somebody said that Mario cries in this video. I don't know about this video, but he cries a lot. Oh my That's gosh. It. Why I'm Have a blessed and wonderful day. No, he's not Stay crying. Oh, oh why did we watch that? I thought he was going to cry. Go eat a Tide you Pod, you psycho. God bless. Maybe I wonder... accountable for it, so don't be sleeping at the wheel. Make sure you tune into this video series. It'll keep you up to date on what's going on. I wonder how many all. fucking out of touch Christian parents are throwing their Tide Pods away right now because they follow this twerp. Well, I think his his main audience is like eighteen to twenty eight year old Christian. Yeah. You like think they, that young? Yeah, they, they fall for they fall for his shit because he tries to expose Rihanna is satanic oh. and Michael Jackson is satanic and everybody that's popular is fucking satanic mm -hmm. and with the Illuminati and evil and Dan is satanic. So am I. No, you're an angel, Billy. <laughs> Fallen angel. <sighs> uh, John Cena. Yeah, he made. He's made a few like wrestling is satanic videos. John Cena so. might play Duke. He'll Nukem. probably mention yeah, them terrible. in this video. He'll be like, "Well, if you haven't seen my new playlist of Illuminati wrestling evil agenda, of the <laughs> Transhumanist, fuck him." All right. Uh, next video. Uh, Burger King deviously explains. Net neutrality by making people wait. There, there was. With net neutrality, you know, some people, for what it's worth, just, you know? Yep. I don't know exactly, but it is. You yeah, know? With the Whopper. Whopper neutrality. Got a number one? Hey, hey, how you doing? Do you know what number, number 98, what's going on with it? Number 98, uh, you got the Whopper? Yeah. So you got the slow access Whopper pass? Wait, what? It's, it's, on, it's on the menu right there. With the they have the Wi-Fi sign in the background, 633 for Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> slow? Slow MBPS, fast MBPS, or hyper fast MBPS. MBPS, of course, standing for making burgers per second. So if we want a Whopper now, we have to pay dollars Yeah. Well, that's that's how you get it fast. That's the highest priority. This is like a lane system? It's going to be like 15, yeah, fast lane, slow lane. So like maybe like 15, 20 minutes. I had no idea Burger King you... gave that much of a shit about our internet, man. To make, I, remember, to I remember when I'd get a Whopper for 99 cents, all right? Mm -hmm. we, we need beef neutrality. I I've never been a polit political guy before, but this is absurd. 25 bucks? For a, a Whopper, huh. I paid I paid twenty five bucks for a burger like here in Bellevue, and I hated it. But a, a Whopper, I would fucking gut somebody. Oh, dude, I'd punch him. Oof. Oof. They take away your Whoppers. No, they, they, they take my Whopper. Business. You can take it from my cold dead hands. From my cold dead hands. They take my beef. Talking about. Burger King Corporation believes that they can sell more and make more money selling like chicken sandwiches and chicken fries. So now they're slowing down the access to the Whopper. Yeah. Were you given an option mm -hmm. of a chicken sandwich or? Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't want a chicken sandwich. Robert, I don't want a Whopper. <laughs> Do you have any Whoppers <laughs> ready that aren't? Yeah. <laughs> the sandwiches. They're pissed. They're so mad. Yeah, but it's they ain't doing I'm this just... shit in the south because we'd have done jumped across the counter and choked a motherfucker. Oh, I've watched uh, on my on my older streams. I would have. Wa I've watched so many videos where people jump over the counter. Not allowed to actually deliver, get it to you. Why, you can't give me the sandwich. It's ready, but you can't give it to me. <laughs> Whopper neutrality was repealed. They voted on it. Whopper, what? This, make this is so stupid. No oh my god, this is the worst thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> that was an actor. That was a crisis. Yeah. Actor, they yeah, hired that same shit. guy. I seen him in the damn uh, Storybrook shootings, and now he's no. here doing a crisis acting he's for the Whopper actor? commercial. 
That's wow. That's, I swear. That was terrible. It seemed like you, he was I acting. Agree with you. This is egregious. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You paid twenty six dollars for a Whopper. Yeah. He ain't a bitch. Now he's a higher priority. So. If, oh, guys, like a burger. Man. If you like, if this you is look, a bad dream right now. I just want. They're all actors and actresses. I think so. They're except all... for the except for the people whose faces are blurred out. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. They're all cheating to the camera. You can tell if they're cheating to the camera if they're like leaning toward where the camera's, you know, like all these motherfuckers yeah. you see. K Fabe. Yeah, you this is a fat dude off like me and Billy, we'd have done picked up the wrench to hit somebody with it. And you know, we just like give me my fucking burger. <laughs> <laughs> in real life, people don't stand with their faces all like so nicely presented toward the camera angle. They like turn and they're, you know, I can spot that shit, man. Yeah. It's like the Montreal screw job all over again. I can't believe Burger King tried to kayfabe us over yeah, the neutrality. Did. Those yeah, motherfuckers. They they're lucky Burger they didn't King. try that on us. McDonald's would have never it. done that. Yeah. Here's uh, 11 <laughs> bizarre things the U.S. government actually spends money oh, on. Gord. You ready for this? Yeah. Uh, paying hipsters to stop smoking. <laughs> when the NIH figured anti-smoking ads weren't resonating with young adults, they decided to go straight to the source. That's right, hipsters. Or as the Commune Project called them, a group focused on the alternative music scene, local artists and designers, and eclectic self-expression. The campaign spent $5 million in federal cash on Commune-branded beer koozies and other swag, smoke-free events featuring indie bands, artist design flyers, and more. Another initiative involved paying hipster smokers $100 to kick the habit and blog about quitting the hope was that the influencers would spread the anti-smoking message to their friends and make smoking uncool. If you're looking to quit, try these 23... To fuck your 23 tricks and fuck hipsters and fuck $100 to quit smoking. So they, if they try to offer me $100 to quit... money to throw a party, man. Uh, Sex, an awesome party. drugs, and quails. The government spent at least $518,000 in government grants to study how cocaine affects the sexual behavior of Japanese quails. <laughs> Sounds pretty <laughs> outlandish, but these research, but the researchers had their reasons. They were trying to look at how cocaine abuse affected risky sexual behaviors in humans, and the sex habits of quails are easy to measure in a lab setting. Man, oh. that scientist was getting high and fucking those birds. Yeah, they you know what I mean by easy to measure? They're measuring the little quail dicks or what, man? What are they talking <laughs> fucked about? Up, man? He was probably fucking like, them and uh, then eating them. Yeah, like their sexual behavior is easier to like test. There's like some <laughs> gross scientist <laughs> come quail foie gras floating out there right now. <laughs> Quails and humans are like really different. <laughs> Oh, yeah. this is tight. Hamster fights. <laughs> For more than 20 yeah. years, Northwestern University researchers received National Institutes of Health money to watch hamster fights. The project reportedly received more than $3 million over the course of the project and $306,000 in 2015 alone. Some of those experiments involved injecting hamsters with steroids, then putting another hamster in the cage to see if the drugged rodents were more aggressive when protecting their territory. Others Why investigated whether... I think of this shit? Man, I'm saying... Awesome. This is... Evan don't know everything. This is money oh. well spent. Whoa. Hey, Whoa. I learn something new every day, man. Others Fucking Judas over here. <laughs> For real. E2? <laughs> pimp, pimp monk? Others investigated whether becoming a trained fighter through two weeks of face-offs made the critters more aggressive. The experiment stopped after animal activists pressured the lab to cut the program. Fuck this those animal actors. This is awesome. Hamster fights. I support hamster fights. That's yeah. like fucking human rights activists trying to shut down WWE, man. Yeah. This was for right. more than 20 years. I'm pretty sure this started because scientists heard their kids were like playing Pokemon back in the 90s. And they're like, let's try and build a Pokemon, a real life Pokemon. And this was probably yeah. 20 years of failed research. Fuck yeah. Hamster mania. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one is empty buildings. Some old schools, firehouses, offices, and more aren't being used anymore, but the government still holds on to them. About 770,000 unused and underused buildings nationwide as of 2016. The thing is, those buildings don't just sit there innocently. Even empty, they, re they require maintenance such as 
basic power, a mowed lawn, and pipes that won't freeze. These costs add up to the tune of about $1.7 billion every year. Damn, Dude, there's gosh. gotta be underground bunkers, man. These are all locations where they build secret underground labs mm. for the government under these old buildings, and they just use this as like a, a fucking, you know, for people to you come know where they have, This is where they have the hamster fights. Ooh, <laughs> hamster cool. fight club. <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. think the, the government's just building. that incompetent where they have all these buildings laying around they, they, they have to keep upkeep on and no other reason. I really don't think they have bunkers, but uh, you're about, Evan, so you may know. How about turning these into homeless shelters, man? These empty buildings that you're paying power bills. Yeah, people. they have tent city everywhere. Exactly. Why don't yeah. they? Why don't they have the homeless people like I don't know make victory gardens in the in the the, the oh. backyard or something, and they can have squash all day and sit there watching uh, Tetris <laughs> with the Koreans. I don't know. That was, that was very squash. All the next one is printing documents no one reads. Oh, God. Oh, Although the Federal Register, a daily document that outlines government proposals, decisions, meetings, and more, could theoretically make money through its nine, $929 annual subscriptions, a good deal of the copies are unread. Every member of Congress automatically receives a new copy every day, even though the contents are available for free and searchable online. A bill currently being considered estimates $1 million a year in savings by stopping the government from automatically printing the Federal Register every day. Sounds like the government could benefit from reading these 17 habits of people who are great at saving money. Charge the fucking um, Congress. If they uh -huh. want printouts, they pay two ninety nine. Uh, is no it a doubt, 9 a million dollars just for oh, it's annual nine twenty nine annual so you divide that by three sixty five two ninety nine look at this one digitized Grateful Dead memorabilia some <laughs> cheered and others scratched their head when the Institute of Museum and Library Services gave the University of California Santa Cruz. 615,175, 615, wow, very accurate number, <laughs> in 2009 to digitize its collection of tickets, photos, t-shirts, and other memorabilia donated by the band, scholars, and fans. You can still view the online connection of more than 50,000 items on the university's library's website. In your everyday life, quit shelling... Oh shit! I love how they have these yeah. fucking clickbaits at the end yep. of everything. You sick motherfuckers, MSN. How have You're I sick. not gone to this website yet? Holy <laughs> shit! Fifty thousand items of digitized memorabilia. Yeah. I'm it's glad not just our government dead, cheese though. is going somewhere good, man. Yeah, man. This is what we I need. I support the arts. I think that this is um, better than twenty thousand dollar toilet seats. Well, yeah, and it's better than fighting hamsters. Like, I don't know, nothing's better than fighting hamsters. Yeah, yeah fighting hamsters so far is the coolest shit I ever heard. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah man. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Forgotten storage. A 2011 report from the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration found that the International Revenue Service spent quite a bit of money on unused items and storage. After accounting for the items that had been used within a year and a half, the report estimated the IRS spent $862,000 in unnecessary warehouse space every year. Fuck. Oof da. Mm. Oof da, man. Oof that's a, that's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of brick. To be, uh, they probably got like old computers and shit that are outdated and they're all locked up doing nothing. Pancake House, the International House of Pancakes got some, hold on, American love when $500,000 of a U.S. Department of Health and Human Services grant went to build an IHOP in Washington, in a Washington, D.C. neighborhood. But no, mm. this wasn't about the members of Congress getting a new place to eat short, a short stack. The initiative was to create 70 full-time jobs for low-income workers who qualified for government financial assistance. Whoa. Holy IHOP. shit, man. We're going to IHOP our way out of the... De oh, the deficit. That's a lot of money for a high hop, though. Uh, it's, no, not really. It's only half a million for 70 jobs full-time? Wow. You underestimate the power of the pancake. See, Pip Monk, what it comes down to is you give a man a pancake, he'll eat for a morning. You teach a man to IHOP, and he'll hop for the rest That's of true. his life. 
That's that just, is wisdom. That's wisdom. He'll hop. Man. He'll hop. He'll hop for the rest of his life, man. You dropping that with you? I hopping that wisdom on us, man. I'm saying. <sighs> <laughs> we need to figure yeah. out a way to get some of this superfluous government spending. Like, can, yeah. can we just get, I don't know, half a million up front for an obscure left wing podcast? Is that too much to ask? Right now, this is the time in the show where I ask all of you to sh to like, subscribe, and share this. Share it on all your fucking social media so everyone knows this is going on. YouTube doesn't alert everybody. It sucks. It doesn't want people to know what's going on. Annoy everyone you know. YouTube's yeah. afraid because we is drop gems. Is there someone gems. sleeping in your house? Wake them up. Poke them with we a stick and tell them the Alter Perspective is on. Yeah. We have 333 yeah, likes now, man. Let's incredible. get it up to 666. Thousand. Uh, favorite Hell game yeah. genre? Uh, pff, I like fighting games. Yeah. I like FPSs and I like MMORPGs and RPGs. I like puzzle games. Like um, puzzle games are good too. But I also like fighting games. The best I like fight, Uno. The, the best puzzle Uno? is punching someone in the face. Yeah, I used to love role playing games back in the day when I had more time to I play them. But now I'm more into just like, <laughs> oh yeah, you know a what I'm Super saying. Bowl <laughs> ad. Wow, the, these yeah. are not cheap. With 2017 Super Bowl, was that? 51 taking the crown as the most watched program in US TV history it's no surprise that even a short ad costs a pretty penny that's why the US Census Bureau came under fire in 2010 for using 2.5 million dollars in taxpayer money to run a 30 second ad the borough stood by its decision arguing that for every 1% increase in mail in responses it received it would save 85 million dollars sending workers door to door to collect information that's that's crazy, man. The Super Bowl's in my fucking home state this year in Minneapolis, and it's it's not cool. People is you know it's people think it's glamorous. Oh, the Super Bowl's coming, Hoo -hoo. but no, it's just like a fucking just fucking makes things worse, man. You so know? And, they spent two point five million on this ad, and they're saying that for every one percent increase in mail in responses, it would save eighty five million dollars. Why don't we have like a government app yet? <laughs> oh, yeah, like app.gov app.gov and every time we use it we get like a tax break or something <gasps> to influence to, to fucking stay up on it holograms oh, of yeah. dead comedians the national comedy center in jamestown new york slated to open in fall of 2018 received 3.5 million from New York State, plus another 1.7 million in federal grants. The immersive museum will feature a look back at influential comedians, including via hologram showing off classic comedians in their heyday. The museum hasn't released names, but it's expected that Jamestown native Lucille Ball will be among the comics brought back to life. Hmm. Whoa, I'm behind this, man. That's I'm 100% cool, behind That's this. Cool. Holograms of dead people? Fuck yeah. I don't know. That's a lot of money, but that's so cool. I would Wouldn't you guys want a hologram of you Richard if you were dead, man? Would you I, want I got a hologram man? of me. My old boss down in Hollywood, the billionaire, he runs mm -hmm. a hologram business now. He owns Tupac's hologram. And, oh, uh, and he might have something to do with this. You might be getting that fucking federal money. Mm -hmm. That's that's uh, the holograms. He owns Tupac's hologram. He owns Tupac's hologram. I got to I got to meet Tupac's hologram when I was in Hollywood a couple years ago. I was sweating bullets because Tupac is one of my all-time favorites. So <laughs> you have to imagine Tupac's meeting his hologram, hologram was a big deal. Why are you full of shit right now? No. <laughs> they should make a force go hologram of Yoda USA, shit. dude. Well, I would love to meet Richard Pryor's hologram. By <laughs> what is this? Do some <laughs> cocaine with Richard. Do some hol holographic cocaine with Richard Pryor's yeah. hologram. <laughs> hey, man. George Carlin, Richard Pryor, fuck. George Hell, yeah. I wouldn't mind a, like fucking a hologram of Princess Diana or something. Yeah. yeah. That well, see, when I, I invented something called the halo. You guys ever you, seen the old <laughs> religious pictures with the halo? Yeah. Well, really, what it does is it's a wireless interface that it's like tapping you into the matrix, and it can simulate holograms in your brain that you feel are real, man. Uh -huh. So you can you can fuck holograms. You can have hologram cigarettes that feel real. The smoke looks real. Ooh, yeah, it's good technology. I, I create a little something. It's called a <laughs> halo. 
I'm sure you've heard of it. It's called the Halo. I don't know if you guys understand. I, I actually created something similar. It's called a hologram cracker. And you oh. eat it, and you get these illusions uh, when you eat the hologram cracker. It's like a graham cracker, but, you know, uh, it's got acid on it, so you trip. Oh, you know, oh it's, that's the difference. It's pea sweet. Fuck yeah, yes. man. I'm selling hologram cr crackers all day. Actor who played Barney the dinosaur is now a tantric <laughs> sex healer. Oh, oh man. I fuck you. Wait a minute. Barney was you Barney? fuck me. We'll have all some ecstasy. What do you I'll mean Barney was black? <laughs> Barney was purple. Yeah, Barney was purple, my dude. I'm doing, I didn't know it was a black guy who was in the suit. I didn't know Why that. does it matter? Oh, wrong. my gosh. Why? We live in a racist right now. We live in a post-racial society. Barney was you purple. Just say we I were just racist? didn't know that. I just did not know. Y'all always trying to make like I'm a racist or something. What do you mean, y'all? Y'all. I am not jail. You okay? people? Did wow. He, did, he, did he say you people? Wow. I did Pimp say monk. you people. The you South the South needs to check its privilege, okay? You fucking people up there. Don't worry. They haven't they, they just recently made slavery illegal there. Like a That's couple true. years ago. They're they're finally <laughs> starting to take down the war propaganda. <laughs> They, 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 I don't know why they're so stupid. <laughs> Barney the dinosaur famously sings I love you, you love me. In the theme song of the PBS children's show Barney and Friends. <laughs> But the actor who played the purple character from early 90s to the early 2000s isn't loving the way he was portrayed in an article about his latest occupation, tantric massage therapist. Does that mean he's like a gigolo or well, something? Okay, so a, a tantric massage means like uh, you, you hold out the orgasm or something? Like there, there is an orgasm, isn't it? Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's where you're supposed well, to all uh, about, have a... Yeah, you harness the sexual energy. You you uh, save yourself. You bottle up that sexual energy, and then you release it. And people that do this tantra shit, they can have orgasms just meditating across Nine from hours. one another, not even touching yeah. each other. And do they, they can blow feel a load? Each touch. I think it's like oh, yeah. a body orgasm for like hours and hours. But you don't squirt? Maybe there's like a small seepage or something. They probably wear adult diapers. I'm not sure. Well, I think it's when you eventually have the orgasm, it's supposed to be like way better. Right? I have no yeah, idea. I need to yeah. I need to I need to go meet Barney the dinosaur and have him teach me his ways. Damn. Oh, Barney. Yeah. They should make an update of the show and have him like teaching adults like Barney's new fucking fun house and it's an adult show and shit for all the people that grew up with Barney. Now they're fucking adults, so why not teach them Tantra, man? Yeah, man. I, I the fifty four year old joiner who has had his practice since 2004 said he used his tantra training to maintain his energy in the 70 pound Barney costume during long days of shooting. He was on the set with kids holding himself oh, to you know what? Look at this. It's only the guy in the suit is who they're talking about, not the voice actor. Yeah. It says that someone else did the voice. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got it. You got to think that Barney suit must have been kind of heavy to carry around, and he's jumping around and kicking his legs up in the air and shit. So he had to have energy. But come on, tantric energy—that's not what you want to bring to the fucking work day, man. It's very sticky inside of the Barney suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The energy I brought up while in the costume is based on the foundation of Tantra, <laughs> which is love. Oh, he told Vice, everything stems and grows and evolves from love. Even when you have emotional blocked energy, the best way to remove it is to remove it with love. Aww. And then replace it with God's divine love. Lost me. Dick! What the fuck? Love heals and allows you to continue to grow, yeah. Okay. What, a, what a swerve. God thought for God sure he's like... loves you. God loves me. <sighs> Okay, you know, he can have his God if he's having 24-hour orgasms. Who am I to judge? Yeah. Oh, well. That'll make you believe in God, man. Some shit pops off like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pops off. <laughs> oh. Facebook. Facebook should be regulated like the cigarette, like the cigarette industry, says oh. tech CEO. Maybe. 
<laughs> Facebook should be regulated like a cigarette company because of the addictive and harmful properties of social media, according to Salesforce chief executive Mark Benioff. Social networks would be regulated exactly the same way that you regulated the cigarette industry, Benioff told CNBC at the World Economic Forum in Davos. Here's a product, cigarettes. They're addictive. They're not good for you. Maybe there are all kinds of different forces trying to get you to do certain things. There's a lot of parallels. I think that for sure technology has addictive qualities that we have to address and that product designers are working to make those products more addictive and we need to rein that back as much as possible, he added. Benioff, who founded B2B cloud computing company Salesforce in 1999 and is now worth more than $4 billion, suggested that regulation of some form was inevitable for the technology industry. We're the same as any other industry, he said. Financial services, consumer products, food, and technology, the government's going to have to be involved. There is some regulation, but there probably will have to be more. This, uh, this is not where I thought he was coming from, from this side of the fucking spectrum. <laughs> what, oh, that's bullshit. They must yeah. be getting a lot of letters from complaining parents. My teenage is addicted to Facebook. It's not no, you it's the parents. Of regulation. The parents are addicted to Facebook. Teenagers yeah. don't give a shit about Facebook anymore. Not really. It's a bunch of moms on Farmville talking about other moms having alcohol problems and bullshit like that. <laughs> yeah. That's How so Sally weird. May got caught banging War from P Fields in the at the cocktail party. What's his name? War from P Fields. He's he's my Facebook <laughs> friend. War from War from P Fields. War from Yeah, War from P Fields. Yeah, they call him War for short. I don't know. War. <laughs> War, yes, war for What sure. is he good for? Fucking that yeah. woman on Facebook. Say no. it again. So what, is, what is this going <laughs> to lead to? Is this going to lead to fucking limits on how long you can be on Facebook? Like Facebook saying, well, you can only be on here for uh, six hours today. And if you use up your limit, they fucking boot you out. Well, and then they're fucking saying you can't fucking go in unless you do a paywall. Maybe I think you social pay media is addictive. And I it, do yeah, it think is. it stunts development. Uh, not just personally, but uh, on a wider range. Yeah. I think it does. Did you know the government's got a patent on technology that uses the pulses that emit from the screen to make someone addicted to their technology? That they can use uh, these devices like computers and smartphones and shit and make you addicted to looking at the shit and being on it because it's g giving off this frequency that's giving you a buzz. And you become addicted to this buzz, and then the next thing you know, you can't get away from your device. Man. How dare they? I don't know about that. Oh, it's, <laughs> no. it's got to be true. Uh, the, the the addictive yeah. nature <laughs> of information, even if it's bullshit information, <laughs> having that that uh, immediate gratification which the internet brings. Uh, the people liking your Facebook posts, like getting a like, it, it, it makes you addicted. There's so many levels to why people pour their lives into this that could be looked at. But at the same time, I don't think they should stunt your availability to it. Like if someone wants to be on Facebook 24 hours a day, fucking let them. Yeah. Like, I, honestly, I, this up. I would no rather have some of these sickos on Facebook than out in the streets. And These people that are soccer supporting moms? this shit, they probably go around fighting, saying we, they, they support liberty, but then they turn around and try to limit our fucking freedom to do whatever the fuck we want, man. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> this guy goes on to say, I was once Mark Zuckerberg's mentor, but I have not been able to speak to him about this. Unfortunately, all the internet platforms are deflecting criticism and leaving their users in peril. Yeah, me and Mark Zuckerberg, we go way back. He looked up to me, you know, no big deal or anything like that. <laughs> Fucking A. I wouldn't be surprised, man. Facebook, you know, they make you sign all kinds of shit in their user agreement. I wouldn't be surprised if they you fucking sign over your soul to Mark Zuckerberg when you fucking click agree to be on that shit, Your man. soul. I'd rather give my soul to Google. <laughs> all right, here's a... Yeah. Uh, First monkey clones created in Chinese laboratory. Hmm. Nine awesome. hours Fuck ago, yeah. BBC News. All right. It's moving in the right direction. Two monkeys have been cloned using the technique that produced Dolly the sheep. Identical long tailed. What is that? I don't M know. Macaques. Macaques. <laughs> Rhinda Zound Dang Dong. And Suck macaques. Suck macaques. Macaques. Macaques? Macaques? All right, go on. 
The, the rhino Zhang Zong Zong and Hua Hua were born several weeks ago at a laboratory in China. Scientists say populations of monkeys that are genetically identical will be useful for research into human diseases. But critics say the work raises ethical concerns by bringing the world closer to human cloning. Quinn uh, Sun. Uh, uh, what's unethical about that shit? Who's, uh, who's on the fucking moral high ground to say it's against ethical, it's questionably unethical? <laughs> To fucking clone someone, man. I think well, cloning should be legal. Human cloning should be fucking legal. And if people want to clone themselves, why not, man? Why not have another Billy the Fridge? Billy can clone himself, raise himself. He would can you be, be his okay own with fucking that? father, man. Uh, if, if there was another me, I would probably try and eat him. Well, yeah, oh. I mean, unless they found a way to accelerate their growth, your clone would be like a little, basically... Little Billy. Yeah, basically like your your kid only instead of having DNA from two people, it would just have just your My DNA. little Boba Fett. Yeah. I, oh, I would yeah. I would uh I would cool. raise I would raise me better than I raise myself, I think. See, you know, that's I, why it should be legal, man. I feel like this cloning process it would be like being born again through my through my clone little Billy and I would say, Little Billy, here's the things I, I regret in life. I regret uh not kissing as many women. I regret not uh, smelling the flowers a little longer, and then and then my little Billy boy would say, "I regret that you're a fucking fag, Dad." And I'd be like, "Damn it, <laughs> he's just like me. He's just like me." <laughs> Hell yeah, man! See, that's why it should be legal, man. And when it is legal, when I am king, I'm gonna make it legal, and I'm gonna make you make it possible for you to sign contracts to have yourself cloned every ten years. So there's always another version of you at a specific age throughout the rest of eternity. There's always a clone of you if you want. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Pitmunks, I guess someone else is clone. Pitmunk to the future, man. Can you imagine? I don't want another fucking me out there, dude. I don't want another me. Fuck now, that. If, if we could just start cloning, uh, would it be uh, illegal to, like, say, if I wanted to clone Natalie Portman and I had a copy of Natalie Portman? She would still have, like, rights as a human being. Hmm. So you wouldn't be able to just make... Thing. You you wouldn't be able to just make clone of Natalie Portman why your should, sex slave. Why should clones have rights? Well, that's a whole other thing that we would have to get into. But I would say that absolutely they would have, why? To have rights. Why we created them? It's the same thing as uh, creating create... a chicken to eat. <laughs> no, no, we create other people too through uh, sexual reproduction. Sure. This yeah, is but, just another way of creating. But there's a two person. people involved in that. Wait, right, and, and the difference here is that. It, it only has the DNA of one person, but it's still a person. I could groom clone Natalie uh, Portman to love I, me. That's so Whoa. creepy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so that's terrible. Creepy. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah. I can make her love me. This is why we can't have clones. I don't know, man. Because I, I would, be I would cool try idea. and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so oh, we're going to watch some videos now. Uh, <laughs> Look at that dumb fucking actor with her her, she's her like, oh hair. My God, I'm so mad that I can't get a whopper. Uh, I don't want a, a fish sandwich. Twenty five ninety nine for a whopper. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Look at me, how I push back. They, they even have like stage makeup. Oh, I was just stuff. gonna say that. Like yeah. the, everything about them is so fake. Uh. Jesus. And then there's the real customer with his fucking uh, receipt. He's like, what's going on? He's like, I paid four ninety nine dollars for a Whopper. He's got his sunglasses tucked into the collar of his shirt. That's how you know he's not an actor. That's how you know he's a cop. A cop. <laughs> he's a cop. I've done that too, though. Are you a cop? I'm a cop. Ben's a cop. Oh. Uh, you, the, you the police, Ben? So Trump uh, had sex with a porn star years ago. My dude. And uh, here's a story about her. I'm starting to like it this guy more like and more. It sounds like the name of either a porn star or a weather woman. Stormy Daniels. Stormy, Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels. Oh, Stormy. Oh, Stormy. Not to Way be to confused go, with the song Trump by the classics some four. pretty fine fucking women, man. Way to go, Trump. That's well. Way I'll to go, what, Trump. I'll, I'll tell you what. If if Trump wasn't a billionaire, then none of this shit would have happened. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, like if he was the manager of like your local, you know, Chase Bank branch or something, he wouldn't be. Th this wouldn't be happening. I'm a 500 pound uh, wannabe rapper, and I pull fucking porn stars. Yeah, but well, well, he's he's gotten more. 
He's got more, but like uh, he's got more to work with. It's and and you I know what, Ben? Chase I'm gonna go. Red, I'm gonna go bang a porn ass. star to prove a point. I'm pissed now. If any porn stars are watching right now, I got a vendetta to score with Ben. I'm banging. I'm banging a porn star tonight. Nothing oh. classic about the adult film star linked to Donald Trump. Already, she's a hashtag on Twitter, plastered on protest signs, becoming so <laughs> famous so plastered fast, with wood on she's a one-name <laughs> wonder, like the president. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's probably my favorite president meme. Like, I seen it one time where he was showing off his Pokemon card collection. This, yeah. is, this video's got mileage. Yeah, I love anytime that. he, like, signed a bill, yeah. he'd be like, I signed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like that's like my third grade teacher showing everyone else's like art projects to the class. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Donald immediately did. says, "It's nice to meet you, but I want to meet her." Pointed to Stormy. When the first lady canceled plans to travel to Davos with her husband, Daniel's name became meteorological innuendo. Melania doesn't like flying with Trump anymore. There's been severe turbulence since things turned stormy. Stormy wow. weather. I'm guessing in two oh, days we're all going to forget the name Stormy Daniels. <laughs> that was the hurricane that spanked the Gulf Coast, right? <laughs> On Jimmy Kimmel, they featured <laughs> Trump and shit, Stormy why, impersonators. Why okay, Trump's Get the president. <laughs> But his personal life is his own fucking business. They should stay the fuck out of his business. I'm not a Trump fan, but stay the fuck out of his business, man. See, I am a Trump fan. I've been supporting Trump since... <laughs> no, you aren't. You're a liar. The guy went publicly <laughs> said he grabs pussy without consent. You support him. Why do we care if he fucked a porn star? No. If we didn't if we didn't kick him out of office then, why the fuck are we pissed about him banging a porn star? He wasn't president when he did it anyway. Yeah, and they try to. I mean, look, they think this is gonna make him look bad, but to the people that voted for Trump, it's like redneck dudes sitting in the couch with their beer, like, hell yeah, I'd bring a porn star too. Swear <laughs> God, best yeah. president we ever had. Yeah, I mean, so they don't, yeah. They, here's a here's a picture um, from several years ago. Bill Clinton hanging out with porn stars at uh, at the Monte Carlo in Monaco. Yeah. Oh, Monaco. Yeah. He ate, he he probably killed one of those girls. <laughs> you can get whatever you want in Monaco. So there you go. I mean, I'm sure this isn't the only time it's happened. No, no, uh, JFK with Marilyn Monroe. Like and she wasn't a porn star. Yeah. She was yeah. like Marilyn Monroe, super was famous. Like, you know, the world's greatest. Yep. I'm Ooh. not mad at Trump for this. What I am mad at Trump for is eating well-done steak. That should be the topic and right now. And then owning a steak ketchup. company and selling it at the mall. <laughs> like, what the but fuck? You're going to get the best steaks from Sharper Image. Oh, no, they the world the is not the same. It's not as good to be alive on planet Earth anymore now that Trump's steaks aren't around, man. <laughs> that was, like, the best beef, and he knows beef. <laughs> he knows beef. Yep, it's his favorite food. Make no mistake. <laughs> he knows beef like Evan knows piss. It's my favorite food. <laughs> Hell yeah. And speaking of that, like I said, you know, when people are piss poor, they have to sell their piss to a tanner that tans hides and leathers with piss. He's talking about piss to again. make money. That's true. But people that were even poorer than piss poor didn't have a pot to piss in. <laughs> yeah, so that's where that's that's where that came from. And here is your piss that, segment. That is you. fucking gold, dude. <laughs> Thank you for your yellow moment with Evan LeFay. Yeah, we, we need an intro. The yellow moment. The yellow moment. Because it seems like you have endless amount of piss related stories. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, man. We'll have to talk about the time I pissed on a church the first time I did it. Well, if you haven't pissed on a church before in your life, you're missing out, man. That's how you get good luck. It's like I masturbated. Be careful. A lot of them have cameras on them. I masturbated to completion in a church parking lot once in front of like okay. twelve people. Holy okay. shit! I hear you. That's the first step people. to becoming yeah. a priest, man. How much did they pay you? Uh, fifteen bucks. Fifteen. Oh, bucks. Moving on. <laughs> so less. Than, so just over a dollar each. Well, there's a video of it out there somewhere too. I, I was well, I don't think I got the fifteen bucks. I said I could pop off three times in under five minutes. And I got the first one out in like a minute and a half, but then I couldn't get the second one out quick enough, so I gave up. Damn. I don't like talking about this because it's one of the only times in my life I ever failed.
Can't win them all, man. That's okay, man. It happens to the best of us. Man. I'll give you some fuck bucks later. Thank you. Senator texts refer to FBI secret society that's anti-Trump. <laughs> <laughs> So a senator Ooh, had texts that that leaked, and they referred to the to an FBI secret society. No Trumps allowed. <sighs> They've got <laughs> Trumps have cooties. In the midst of the FBI investigation into President Trump's team, many Republicans are questioning the legitimacy of the investigation, and in some cases, the entire agency. Their latest focus: text messages between a top FBI agent removed from Special Counsel Robert Mueller's team and an FBI lawyer. Republicans say that in one exchange, the agent, Peter Strzok, refers to a secret society in the FBI. Republican Senator Ron Johnson, the chairman of the Senate Homeland Security Committee, told reporters today that an informant says he has more information on that. I have heard that there was a group of managers within the FBI that were holding meetings off-site. That's all, that's all I know. So, and that, again, all I said was when Strzok and Page described you know, as they described the secret society, that didn't surprise me. Sounds like I had, members of the good know, I guess corroborating me, information. Man. I think we're everywhere. I think uh, secret society is kind of stretching it. I yeah. think that kind of romanticizes what All this I'm is. All I'm going to say is they, they were met, having meetings, whatever. They met at the $500,000 government funded IHOP to talk about <laughs> our president. That's all I'm going to say. It's the hamster fight club they were going to. Man. <laughs> yep. Potentially, just potentially. Again, all I'm saying is there's a lot of smoke out there. Let's bring in CNN's okay. counterterrorism. So maybe they were they were token on a fucking blunt. Yeah, legalize it, my dude. As a analyst, Phil Muddy worked for uh, the FBI. Um, meetings off-site, secret society. Anything so. you can tell me without yeah, having we, to kill me? We used to send around emails. I'm not kidding. This is all true. I hope they don't review them now. They're probably still collected. They're saying we have a staff meeting today. For us, this was a few of the managers. A staff meeting meant we we're going to a bar. I'm sure there are people going off-site all the time at the FBI after hours having a beer. They don't invite their colleagues. The question is whether you believe that there's some secret conspiracy that says they're walking around saying, No, it's a secret society, okay? A secret yeah. fucking so what, society. Every, what every happened? Friday. Did these, guys, did these guys leave their cell phones at home and so they couldn't track and beam in on what these guys are saying? And then so they assume, what are they trying to hide? We can't hear them. We can't beam in on their cell phone. That's exactly what it is. In case you didn't know, all <laughs> smartphones are spying on everyone yep. 24 7. They they follow you around, man. They record everything you say around your phone. That's and AI why, reads that shit. That's why when I'm not using my phone, it's usually tucked between my legs, focused in on my taint. Yeah. yeah. So that when I, they decide to spy on me, they, they just get a big eye full of taint. I often, that's like, will. Just take pictures of my dick and upload them to a, a sock yeah. account, and I'll, I'll, I'll t tag them with like ISIS or like NSA. ISIS. I'll hashtag them just so that the government has to look at my dick. Yeah. Yeah. But these guys are obviously going to fucking Applebee's Friday night and don't want fucking Poindexter McGee to come with them, so they tell them, yeah. no, man, we're, wow. we're having a secret meeting. The Trump investigation or the, the uh, collusion investigation goes the way we want. And the few of us around this table in a 35,000 person agency now have the capability to walk back in the FBI and persuade former Director Mueller, probably 40 years as a prosecutor, that actually <laughs> we have some secret information that implicates President Trump. This is nonsense. It's just complete nonsense. Well, what do you make of the Peter Strzok uh, text messages? Certainly they don't. Uh, help the appearance of the investigation uh, when he's saying he and, and this woman uh, lawyer that he was uh, texting with were saying all sorts of nasty stuff about about then candidate Donald Trump. I mean, it doesn't look good. It, it, it not only does it not look good in, Ep, in, in the FBI language when I was there, you say he ought to be out on the bricks for a while. In other words, he ought to be out for a few weeks without a paycheck. The question is not whether he said inappropriate things or rough things about President Trump. Every American, 330 million Americans is doing that today. FBI <laughs> agents vote. They have views after hours. It's using government property. I'm assuming he was using his FBI-issued cell phone to right. do this. If you believe, though, that a person who votes Democrat can't participate in the investigation of Hillary Clinton, a person who rep votes Republican can't participate in, in the investigation of the Republican uh, presidential campaign, how do we conduct investigations? Do you do a truth test before you go into an investigation saying That's nobody who voted for Hillary Clinton can participate in the collusion investigation? doesn't make sense to me. Everybody did this. They shouldn't have done it. Yeah, so they're saying, you know, this particular FBI person uh, doesn't like Trump. 
You know, it's like, oh, so he just he should be removed from anything regarding the investigation. I mean, everyone like has. Move. Well, everyone has personal feelings about things, you know, and when when you act in a professional manner, you're supposed to be able to put that aside. Now, obviously, that doesn't always happen, but they can't they can't freak out every time they suspect something, you know, and on their phone. It doesn't suggest to me that there's bias throughout the bureau. Um, Senator Johnson, uh, who you just heard there, yeah. uh, he, he's almost like walking back a little bit what he said uh, who are last these night on a different that channel. Where he said the FBI and shit and all this shit, or they're the president and shit, and they don't realize that their government issued cell phone is everything they're doing on it is being recorded and monitored by the NSA and the you know Secret Service and all this shit. Yeah. When they're president, you really give up your rights to you know. Privacy? All, Would you have a guy watching you take a shit every hour of the day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's... I feel sorry for Trump, man. I don't think he knew what he was getting into, to be honest. I, think I feel he... sorry for him. No. It, don't they don't they have a guy in the White House that cooks you whatever you want? Like, fuck. That's worth that's worth yeah, that. Yeah, you, you, you got a shit. chef on call 24 hours, man. Yeah, I'm fine with that. But he I'll, had that I'll, shit before trade he my was personal freedom. Though. Well, he probably did too. Well, know, yeah, like. he he had that beforehand, but now we have to pay for it, like we pay for fighting hamsters. Yeah, which we should pay for fighting hamsters. Be careful what you say about Trump, man. They might be tr telling us that we're a fucking anti-Trump secret fucking society, man. I don't know, show. Evan, Evan, Evan. You're so paranoid tonight, man. <laughs> Your paranoia is striking. Deep. There's, there's, That's there's, because there's... the AI is watching our show. The AI algorithm <laughs> listens to everything I say, but it loves our fucking show. So what can I say? It's a fan of the show. AI yeah. is no good shows. Well, AI I say, I say, no more spreading fear. No, no more spreading fear. Positivity Spread legs. We're not better fear. than this. We're better than this. We're we sexually progressive warriors. Progressive. I mean, progressive, yes. <laughs> All right. Chuggo, uh, come on, original. You fat guy. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking guy. Yeah. When I step into place, throw your hands in the sky. Ah, Holy on, shit, is this Lex Luthor? These girls can't have me and it makes them fucking cry. Ah, come on, fucking guy. On my way to court in a suit and a tie. Ah, come on, fucking guy. Da yes. Down syndrome Lex Luthor and Down syndrome <laughs> Hitler are going to take over the earth. I'm scared. Yeah. How's he got like the hottest girl in there with him, and he looks like he literally was an aborted fetus? I don't know. And my brothers in the cannon won't get out till next July. That's ah, sad. Come on, like look at that. He's, he's taking a shit in house. That's a Mr. Clean. How can you hate this video? He's got hot schoolgirls showing their g-strings and random dudes taking a shit in an outhouse. This is everything except talent. And, and I he's going ah like. So Come on, fucking guy! Feel? <laughs> I'll smash your fucking head. That's how he has no feel. Like, uh, look at his face. It's just like, you know. Like, I just got a billion dollar idea. We hire Tim the Toolman Taylor to remake this, and it's just a fucking guy. For real? <laughs> Anything you good. need? That's what I deal. Look at My that butt. Was empty. Wow. That's why it's still. I don't trust nobody. That's why I don't blame. This is a dope Whatever music video. Drunk, you know? yeah. I think you're right. He just needs to work on the talent part. If he can improve the <laughs> talent part, I think he's got something. Man. You'd be a great rapper if you had talent. <laughs> I mean, not even great, but this would be... This This is almost amazing just because of everything going on around it. Why Like, why does he have a fucking skull on a staff? Is this Illuminati yeah. symbolism? Why wouldn't he have one? Why wouldn't he have one? I fuck all day. That's why I stink. <laughs> I fuck all day. That's eggs. why I stink. The buy my shit. That's how I get cash. <laughs> oh, dude. What are you going with? Staying for? He's definitely. He's definitely Canadian, right? I mean, that money. Or where is he oh, from? Did, did he say Zed? Hold on. In, in this shit the, yet? It might be. Is he from? Hold on. Let me see where he's from. 
British. I think yeah. this guy might have been born prematurely in a like in a Toronto strip club. Yeah, he, that, that this is Canadian. Yeah. It says it says he's from uh, Toronto. I think he might have been born prematurely in a Toronto strip club, and they kicked him in the dumpster, and he survived off of licking the carpets for the first twenty nine years of his life. <laughs> and then yeah. all the girls were like, "Oh, that's Chuggo. He lives under the stairs." Yeah, we'll do a rap video with him. That ah. this, is, this is the only thing that makes sense to me. Come on, Did fucking you see guy. The by it? That's how I get ass. I grew up beside a stripper. That's why I'm trash. Remy Martin in my glass. That's how I've got class. Rappers got me angry. That's why I'm pissed. They're all fucking garbage. That's why they got this. Got him. He seems he seems very small. No, he's I, I'm I'm thinking he was premature stripper dumpster child that was raised on the protein of licking the carpet in the strip club for 29 years. Damn, that's if, this, with that premise, it makes it watching this a lot more palatable, man. Is if you think yeah. of that as the backstory. None of the strippers, because like, strippers are never tall, or else they would be models. So the, this girl's probably five foot three. Chuggo's like a legit four foot seven. Mm -hmm. With a with the staff of Gundor, ready to do fucking spells. He's doing sorcery on us right hey, now to make us like watch Burn this. Troyer, by the way. The girls come to see me like because the they can't fuck. You'll never Look at that burger down there. All these I girls are like back, top quality Toronto strippers. Box smells like a muskrat. I'm gonna knock out your love tap. You wanna go against Chuggo, yo, fuck that. You wanna muskrat. go against Chuggo, yo, fuck that. I'll put a sign on your back that says I can't rap. What? He just rhymed muskrat with, with love, love tap. tap and fuck that. This man is... A, you like him? Oh, he's the greatest ever. No. <laughs> okay. I feel like I might have man. gave birth to this guy back when I was Trap Billy. And, <laughs> and he's my responsibility. I, I should have aborted. And I feel bad. Fucking Chuggo. I can't rap. I can't scrap. The way like bitches the shut you down screams I can't back. You're a filthy piece of shit and you ain't got jack. You can catch me in the alleyway getting drunk and high. Ah! Come on, fucking guy. Smiling in every sexy bitch. Look at them fake walking. Come on, fucking guy. Shot some whiskey and bottles of Molson Dry. Ah! Molson Dry. Come on, fucking guy. Fuck it with me. You must really want to die. Ah! Come on, fucking yeah, music videos grand. I put grand. mayonnaise on everything. That's how I eat. Lake Shore <laughs> Boulevard. That's how I'm street. Can't say no to pussy. That's how I'm weak. And I've been told I'm only nice when I sleep. Loud with a slur. That's how I speak. In your lobby with a knife. That's how I creep. Drown in the lake. And get found in the creek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Evan, Someone's getting pissed on. Evan, actually, well, what I heard was Chuggo initially called this uh, come on, piss on a guy. Yeah. But, but yeah. <laughs> hey, it's better to be pissed off than pissed on, man. Yeah. The face. Yeah. Cement surrounding your feet. You talk shit. And that was the beat. <laughs> That's why I'm going to roll Unless up. It's a fine smashing stripper, your then teeth. It's See that really fire fun right there? <laughs> if she's really fine, being peed on is a delicacy. That was the heat. You deserve a good beating. That's my belief. See that kid stealing? Yeah, that was a thief. But his <laughs> face does not have a lot of facial expressions, though. He doesn't yeah. like. Yeah, it's because he lacks any sort of definition beyond his scrunch okay. face. He's barely got eyebrows. If they were rolling his character for D and D, he'd had zero charisma, man. Negative yep. charisma. But he has that fucking staff, which makes up for all the charisma in a D and D match. <laughs> yeah, he's a and fucking he says, wizard, ah, man. He's well, literally like a wizard. scrotum with a face. That's the police. Maybe, See this maybe right that's here? his thing. He's a wizard, and he's putting a spell on us with this music video. I'm to saying. Make us think he's good. Well, he this is sorcery. I'm not gonna back with the beast. You suck his nose. Who's the bad wow. town? I treat pussy like are you gonna, me because I'm passing around. Are you gonna consider calling him Sluggo or what's this guy? Chuggo this rapper, or? this rapper is Pimp Monk's third testicle. Yes, Revealed. This is my third nut rapping right now. I didn't now. know that. Yes. Wow. Throw my hands toward your neck. Then I'll wrap him around, oh. and it'll be months before your body's <laughs> actually fell. You see this cash? Yeah. That's some seed prop that you see these rocks. Oh, you know he's a good rapper if he's got fucking cash in his hand, man. That's like the first good sign and of a good rapper. Why is that skull and everything? <laughs> uh, it's it's Illuminati, man. Pimp Monk. It's fucking symbolism. Whoa, and dude. he's got a girl with a pie? I, this guy's uh, living the life. Come on, fucking guy. Fuck. I pulled out of my mouth and I 
and I put it in her eye. Ah! Come on, fucking guy! She blew me in front of a lesbian and another guy. Ah! I, I'm giving this a I fucking. A every I'm giving this a pass. Ah, come on, fucking guys! Come on, fucking guy! I wonder if he had to pay them. I, I, is that I, Kane's I, son? Is that fucking Kane's son? Look at him. I, I really be believe Kane's they're all his. Son, they're all his stripper den mothers who took them in when they found him feeding off the floor. But they, they all look yeah. about the same age as him. Well, yeah, because they didn't find him until like he was an adult, but he had the mental capacity of a child. So they took him in as a, as a, as a child. These He's, are definitely second-generation strippers in this video, man. <laughs> They've probably been around since, you know, little Sluggo or Chuggo here was just a little fetus on the floor. Here's Don't talk about one. my test. <laughs> Uh -oh. Mario, uh -oh. is this, uh, Mario, the vigilant uh -oh. Christian. Is, is he gonna rap in the library? That's some yeah. edgy shit. You wanna play with your Mario game? I have <laughs> a big Rams as a big game. What's Cause a Mario might be super, but I'm super duper. Oh my god. With a big tuper. Cause no one's gonna hit it like me, cause Mario has a big C. But I got A plus on that test because it's a big mess. Mario what might the fuck be is he rapping super... about, man? What is he trying to say? What this picture is he trying to paint this. here, man? <laughs> Mario's Every... got a beast, big C, and it's a Does fucking he mean mess. Cunt? And he... This yeah, makes Chuggo look like Scorsese yeah, with his dude. video and rapping. I think Chuggo oh, will be number one tonight, but we'll see. Is this is... man, but I'm going to have a big tan. He might have went to the past to the, to the future, <laughs> but I'm going to make the new game have the neutral. Man, the Mario future. <laughs> See, someone like Snoop Dogg can make up words when he raps, but this motherfucker, you don't want to be the come out making up words, you know, when you but when you autism. Autism for shizzle. <laughs> He's got autism for shizzle. Oh my god. <laughs> He's ruining Super Mario for me. Like it's not like I haven't Wait, finished Mario that? Odyssey yet, and I'm not going and to rap, now. man. This, Whoa, this you guys get me. P Dub's on the mic, man. You wanna hit it down with a big town, man? You can't be like this a guy big should friend. be eating Tide Pods. My boy Emo, he they already has. This boy's man, Seth and Emo, once they get together, they're gonna be the team of the meme. You see, my boy Seth, he can rap like the mech. I might the puke, pets. dude. This man, is nauseating. This is sickening, disgusting. Man. It's really right. fucking sickening. I've seen a There's... few requests, so here it goes, guys. It's Kratom <laughs> time. Oh, no. Okay. It, no. It's intervention it's Pimp time, Pimp Monk. Wait, wait. Don't eat it, Pimp Monk. Pimp Monk. Come on, think about this, Pimp Monk. Man, you man. don't travel back in time and shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm trying to, Damn. man. I'm, oh, Damn. look at that! Damn, Pimp Monk, Pimp Monk, that that emotional outburst is is just evident that you yeah. are addicted to kratom. And I know that somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. I love you, man. Give me some money for some kratom. No, no, no. no. You're supposed to go ah, ah. like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> why does why does Pimp Monk get to have Kratom for this bullshit rap song? I got Kratom. Oh fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. So okay. You thought you'd be funny and complain about not having Kratom. Well, you <laughs> got it. You got Kratoms. Uh, you got all kinds of Kratom. Oh, anything shitty. anything to deal with this terrible this Kratom and they all jump on me about it. Well now I'm gonna overdose because of you. Yeah, I'm Pimp Monk's got a tolerance, man. Don't eat as much as he does, man. He's got a tolerance built I've up. I've only man. ever done one Kratom in my entire life. I'm going to do two Kratoms because mm -hmm. if I don't, this rap song is going to make me crap my pants. What vein is that, by the way? What, what vein are you, are you using? What vein? Oh, uh, red. Red? 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 Okay. Mangda? Mangda? Oh, okay. Mangda's the best, man. Ming da, yeah, we don't fuck with that baby shit. We take that yeah, Ming Manga's da. Mangda's good. I, I, I'm using green Mangda is what I'm, I'm taking, so. Hell yeah, man. Hell so, yeah. So that red is, that, that's some sedation shit right there, man. <laughs> I want to be sedated. I want to be sedated. Wouldn't it be cool if we could get the 
They could make you slap somebody. You know what? She said she would come on the show. Really? Oh, yeah. Awesome. If Vagina she does, power. we should have Got it. before she before we interview her, we should have uh, uh, the audio of her and then me doing an impression of her and see if the audience can tell which is the real one by asking <laughs> I would, questions. Yeah. I want to get think, Chug going on too, by the way. I just, who else? Uh, we have we that? were going down to town and this girl was just sorry, riding man. on people, the king. Uh. People actually <laughs> requested Ronald McFondle on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, um, I, I want to hear. I want to ask Ronald McFondle some questions, man. That would be a good interview, man. Yeah. He was in a documentary good. released by Morgan Spurlock. Was he? Yeah, I got, oh, I'm like, shit. I'm in the the video a little bit in the background in some of the scenes. It's just the weirdest shit ever. Okay. Nice. I had no idea. <sighs> maybe I'll maybe it's... I'll talk to him. The problem is he gets fucking clown paint everywhere. Oh God. <sighs> I'm, I'm worried. Maybe I'll get him to not. No, he has to be painted up. Shit. I don't know. And you can't beat is him. He the is he the oh, guy? I forgot man. this guy. <laughs> the, town with the, big town. the kratoms haven't kicked ground. in yet. I had a big <laughs> town in a town. From, I went. I came from a place named Charlotte. Charlotte. He can skateboard like the top boy Tony Hawk, but you think Tony Hawk? Hey, so oh. cool. All right, here's here's another one. You think Tony Hawk's so cool? Oh snap! Hey, yo, yeah. I'm down with this. Whoa! Uh, you niggas, uh, why do they all hate me? Why do they all hate me? Yo nigga got scabies. Yo nigga, he texts me. Yo nigga, he got scabies. Got scabies. I got scabies once from a fucking girl. It was the worst. This is terrible. This is just like auto tune, and I mean, whatever. They just find a bunch of random yeah. words that rhyme, and not like, even rhyme. She just says the n word, and then something yeah, else. Drop in the fucking over auto tune. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this girl up though and see if she wants. She's to a teach Muslim. Her. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna oh, teach her how to rap. Wrap those fucking legs around my face. <sighs> Nasty. Have you ever heard of Broken Side before? Oh, it's, they I are so. so fucking terrible. They're like, they're like a rap, uh, an auto tune rap group that's also like, like screamo. Yeah, I think I've heard time. them. Yeah, they're so bad. Let it meet me, I the service ass like a port. <laughs> you losing, you losing, you nigga, you choosing. She you does kind of sound like that. Uh, Pass me outside, girl. Why do they all hate me? Why do they all hate me? Yo nigga got scabies. Yo nigga got <laughs> scabies. Scabies. scabies do suck. That's a great diss. Um, I'll tell you why they hate you though. It's because you suck. Yeah, she that, sucks. That could be it. That could be it. Yeah. 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 It's a negative. <laughs> No, nah, there's probably a lot of people that hate her because she's Muslim, right? Like, maybe, maybe she's maybe she has a right to gripe. Too. But I and do there's think there's probably a lot of Muslims that hate her because she doesn't have her fucking hijab on right now, man. Yeah, what is people she are doing? saying I can't believe you know about Broken Side, man. Broken Side was from Albuquerque. Albuquerque, and, yeah, and I lived in Albuquerque for a while, so I heard about them. Oh it's, man, they're so bad. It's like the most terrible shit. I've never heard of them. Oh man, good. Good. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. This girl is pretty terrible. Um, I think if I worked with her for a couple years, I could have her probably the next uh, Nicki Minaj. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, think I, could, I think I could do that. A oh, couple okay. ass implants later, man. I'm going to do this. Her, I'm going to do this now and get this over with because this guy's been asking forever. He's probably not even watching right now. I haven't even seen him in the chat. <laughs> Dusty the Cockatiel raps. Oh. Yeah, boy. What y'all know about that Dusty? <laughs> so he's actually a DJ? I don't want to get a uh, content ID match from ICP. They're too popular. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, is, he, is he getting some poon? Dusty's fucking hard. Ho! Oh. Damn, Dusty. <laughs> this is the best fucking rap Whoa. video I've ever seen. Well, that man. Dusty ain't getting rested. He's getting some rested. Woo! 
Sick of them bird flu. Sick of them bird flu. Sick of them bird flu. Woo! Call me Dusty. I'm the cockatiel. I'm gonna find your bitch. Maybe cop a field. That's fucking adorable. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about the bird. I thought you were talking about Billy, huh? And he's he for is... real no. rap, and this bird is dope, man. Yeah, the bird doing Yo, its little your foot Dusty, dance. Have your people call my people, man. I want you oh on my Oh my god. Song. It... I... Yeah. I would be so afraid of the bird just flying away and never coming back. Wow, you have this bird well trained. Man, you have abandonment issues. <laughs> I just mean, like, you couldn't stop it. And why would you? He's a free being on this earth. Not a bird like this. A bird like this needs to be kept warm like, okay. during the winter. Like they then, then he'll learn his death. lesson for flying away. Well, they don't learn their lesson. They die. No, yeah. There's nothing learned. Really? It's tough love. Really, that's cruel, man. That's really cruel. I've I eaten every pet bird I ever rats. had. Why doth oh, the cage bird see. cry? <laughs> why must the cage bird all cry? The horrors. And Here's another really bad one. Do, do you feel the kratoms oh. yet? Not yet. Man, maybe you should take about five more of those. <laughs> yeah. I'd I, I take at least six more. <laughs> well, Pimmuck, you're a fucking expert in kratom now by now. I am right? not. Now, see, everybody thinks that, but I'm really not. But okay. I'll mm. see ya. How long does it take to kick in, man? Is well, it gonna... depends on which vein you use. Actually, uh, there are certain veins that take a while. I think red, red actually does take a, a little bit longer than the rest of them. I know that Bali, though, any uh, any Bali vein strain will kick in really quick. You why is it called a vein? Fucking kratom I don't know why it's called man. vein, to be honest with you. I don't, but that's what they call them, veins. Instead of strains, they call them veins. Ooh, what the fuck? That's this it. is so is bad. That... They try to go old school here. Ran down to the bottom floor. Big black man knocking on the door. Screaming. Really enjoying the show, man. Makes me feel somewhat nostalgic. And it's nice to see Billy, Evan, and Pimp as always. The dude abides in ramen. What? Abides ramen. ramen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the 10. And then yell and get the fuck on the flow. It wasn't Big Joe, cause he ain't have a hoe or the dough. Knock knock, who uh -oh, the fuck is banging on my dough? Is it non-stop commercial or hardcore? Better know what hard the fuck they're looking for, cause I'm co. This fucking Which sucks! I know. I gotta dance to stop myself from wanting to throw up, man. He pisses a shit like you for breakfast. Wondering yeah, why this George is celebrates Festivus. This is garbage and shit, and I hate it. Festivity, the pimp come to kill me. Willy nilly, this bitch come to Willy kill me. Willy nilly, me, tap me. this yep. bitch come to kill me. me. The whitest rapper ever. Got to stop him, <laughs> block him, get a bitch to stalk him. All you do is ask Freaky J, and you gotta stalk her all day. Hey. Knock knock, who the is banging oh, on no. my dough? Is it non stop Dow. commercial or hard co? Ah, how stop cow. it! Uh, <laughs> when you're hooked to your rhyme, people want to throw up, man. You stop gotta quit. It. Quit while you're ahead, kid. Mm. Come on, man. Billy the Fridge is a fucking uh, rap Jedi, man. If he's cringing at your song, then you've yeah. got to quit your fucking. And don't you, quit your day job, kid. If you don't believe that, just I want to quit. The song Pinwheel. You want to quit? I fucking hate you. Oh, I want to quit I rapping like when I hear shit like this. I went like back this. and watched Pinwheel. I fucking like that song, man. I think it, it was not as cringy as people say it is, man. Billy, I think it was it cringy. It's, it's, it's cringy. Tubby. I almost want to watch Slaying it again. Bitches, Little cheese. No. Why is everybody soul. peeing now? I don't know. They know, is, they know Evan's going to talk about it. There are pee uh. memes. That they're a part of the world now. What the fuck was that? Is he about to whip his... <laughs> Did they tase him with one of those? I don't know. I don't even want to watch this. Fuck yeah, this. This sucks. Next one. Uh, well, Send bobs. Honey What's Benjamin. Like the eye thing tonight. It's like the second or third rap video where they did the eye thing. Ovi Benjamin made this beat. Ovi Benjamin. Hi there. Can you open up your cloth? Will you show me nice pic of your bobs? You so butty full. Show me over Ghana. 
Let's say that. Hello, man. bitch lasagna. Yeah, yeah. This isn't bad. Why, why would someone send this to me as a cringe rap? This I don't know. We have fun. to. We have to see if this is. Uh, well, this is obviously. Um, hello, bitch lasagna. That, that's that's Shakespeare right there. Oh yeah. I don't even want to. No, I'm just moving on to the next video. This is good. Like. I assure you can enjoy a lot. I mean, like, it isn't good as in, like, oh, I think it's awesome. But I want to suck your boobs. It's not cringe. No, no. I want to suck your boobs. This guy's great. Yep. I know it's a meme. War is a whore. Oh, shit. Is this Chuggo again? Well, come, come on, on war is a whore. Perspective number five. Five alive. And I have a few announcements. Uh, within the next few days, the Alter Perspective will start being on SoundCloud, which also means it'll be on iTunes and all those other places where you can download audio podcasts. That's coming very soon. And uh, also coming very soon uh, is strutting that ass. Yes, strut that ass. It is catchy. Strut hey, hey Pitmonk, do you have do you have a little strut? You want? I I do have a strip, but every time I do it, I shit myself. So <laughs> <laughs> never mind, you guys. Uh, wipe that ass. Yeah. Wipe that ass. Yeah. Wipe that ass. Wipe wipe that ass. That's what white privilege right there. <laughs> wipe privilege. Some of us can't reach. Those of you that can reach your buttholes have white privilege. Yeah, you skinny fucks. You gotta be careful up. with them kratom suppositories, man. <laughs> yeah. We haven't come up with a with an exact schedule yet, but I think pretty soon we'll let you guys know the exact days that we'll be doing the show, and it'll be the same days and pretty much the same times uh, every every week. Yeah, so we'll be doing at least two a week. After this show, I don't know how how many of the four of us are going, but uh, we're going to Twitch. Uh, we're oh. we're gonna we're gonna do two hours of the normal show here. And then we're going to take a short break and then we're going over to Twitch. Uh, Twitch. 
How the fuck did you fall in there? I think we've all How been there. How did you fall in there? Yeah, it's still open. You can still send stuff there. Go to the toilet, bed. I went to the toilet, but I found here. You what? <laughs> that was the I toilet. To the Honestly, toilet. if I walked in there, I think I'd pee on her. I think I would. I would look at the toilet, and I would look at her in the dumpster, and I would be like, "I can't help." I'd ask it. her for permission first, then I'd be on her. No, I'd never ask for permission. Just do it. Oh my God, Pimp Monk! Of course, it would be consensual. <laughs> and, and but, now, yeah. What happened? This poor soul. This I poor girl. Sat down. <laughs> you didn't sit down on the toilet, though, did you? I did. Well, that's not the toilet. Stop, stop banging things. Shh. You know what? Girls are into pissing in garbage cans and shit. Like, they will go into the bathrooms at places and just start pissing in garbage cans and Girls shit. Girls are gross. Drunk. As gross as people think guys are, if you walk into a woman's bathroom, it looks like a damn crime scene. Yeah. Uh, I, I sat down on the toilet. No, you didn't. I, I <laughs> that's a laundry yeah. hamper. That's not even a yeah. fucking garbage can. Give me a hand. That's a yeah, that's a laundry basket. Give me a hand. Oh, she's gonna I need a shoehorn for this operation. She's got to be covered in pee. There's no way she yeah. knows when she went in. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, she pissed on herself. Huh? It's like being free oh, oh, damn. I don't know peepees. She's not peed on herself. <laughs> I'm surprised. Right. Oh, get a little get yellow in there, man. How's it going? Really good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why'd she sit on the toilet without her pants down, anyways? I don't know. This is this is questionable. Yeah, it sounds really good. This bitch worked at the fake Burger King. Though. Yeah, this is a crisis actor. Why do we get so many crisis actors? To, crisis actors. Did you see her tonight? look at the camera too? She just broke kayfabe. Yeah. Yeah. Crisis yeah. actress. Okay. When's the curtain call? Get up Dude, this, is like, this is like the Truman Show, man, and these are all fucking actors in these videos tonight, man. I, think I just fans, watched the Truman Show today. So I think course. fans of the Alter Perspective are at home trying to send us videos of themselves as crisis actors to pull one over on us. This can't just be random videos we find and everyone's a crisis actor. You guys are trolling us. This needs to stop. This God is inappropriate. No, no more uh, self-do-it-yourself crisis acting. This is inappropriate. I'm calling a, a ban on all ultra-perspective crisis actors sending any crisis videos in that they made. Unless I will not really stand funny. for it. I will not stand for it. I will stand for it. If they're funny, send them in. Just a reminder to everyone watching, please like the stream, share it with everybody. And Absolutely. after this, follow us to twitch.tv yep. forward slash drunken benpai watch billy and i play some games watch me humiliate him uh, humiliate uh, and, i'm gonna play tetris too, dude i got the we, we gotta play wwe too oh my god so ben can You're win either oh fuck yeah man I hell yeah was, it was talking about me i don't know who's gonna be there i know he was talking about me but i am going to be there yes i don't know what he's talking about yes I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be a yet. bonus I round. I just canceled my after show, because, but I'm still going to do one after the Twitch. The after after. Nice. The after after. Like Mr. Miyagi, after after. It's the late, late <laughs> show with Craig Kilborn. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Like, Which is where it's at, guys. Craig Check Kilborn. this shit out. You're going to love it. If this if this woman that was in the damn garbage can got in a fight with the fucking Russian girl in the police car that kicked the window out, who do you think would win? The everyone, Russian girl. Everyone. everyone. Yeah, everyone. Ivan well, fucking Drago's daughter Russian would whoop this girl and I'd love it. She'll fucking kick your head off your shoulders, man. All right. Oh my god. So here's here's a segment where everyone gets to learn something new. Kentucky meat shower. Oh my god. The Kentucky meat shower was an incident occurring over a period of several minutes on March 3rd, 1876, where what appeared to be flakes of red meat fell from the sky in a 100 by 50 yard, 90 by 46 meter area near the settlement of Rankin in Bath County, Kentucky. Most of the pieces were approximately five centimeters in uh, five centimeters square. 
at least one was 10 centimeters square. The phenomenon was reported by Scientific American and the New York Times and several other publications of the time. It's raining meat. It's raining meat. <laughs> yes, the meat appeared to be beef, but according to the first report in the Scientific American, two gentlemen who tasted it judged it to be mutton <laughs> or venison. B.F. Ellington, a local hunter, identified it was bear meat. Uh-huh. Writing in the sanitarian, Leopold Barandis identified the substance as Gnostic, a, g- a genus of... Cyanobacteria. Yeah. Didn't they say this is one of the signs of the end times of revelation, man? Meat falling from the fucking sky, raining <laughs> bloody meat. Holy I fuck. Brandis passed the meat sample to newer to uh, the Newark Scientific Association for further analysis, leading to a letter from Dr. Alan McLean Hamilton appearing in the medical record and stating that the meat had been identified as lung tissue from either a horse or a human infant. Oh my god. Oh, 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 baby what? lungs? They're oh, fucking horse. blowing chunks of baby oh, lungs horse. out of fucking cannons or something. Or a horse. Man. The structure of the organ in these two cases being almost identical. The makeup of this simple of of this sample was backed up by further analysis with two samples of the meat being identified as lung tissue, three as muscle, and two as cartilage. Dude. Holy shit. (laughs) What would a sexual position called a Kentucky meat shower be? That's, That's what I thought it was when I first heard it. It's I know. Like Kentucky meat shower. I'm like, it's literally raining lung down on people who are doing a taste test in the 1800s. And all I want to know is what sort of position this would be. Some people think it was buzzard or vulture vomit. Ugh. Ugh. The what, sexual position would be by, a redneck 69. 100 by 50 yard square? That's This is ridiculous that people would even report this. It's like 100 by 50 yards is not huge. It's like half of... uh, Maybe it is like a football field, right? Around the size of a football field? Something like that. It's just raining meat on a football field, and we're like... I don't know. This was back in 1876, but do you think this whole incident could have been pulled off by crisis actors, man? (laughs) Barnabas C. Jones, the first crisis actor, started the Kentucky Meat Barnabas Shower. C. Jones. Just think about it. The CIA could be like, can we come up with some bullshit story and then pass it off as it actually happened by having all these CIA agents pretend that it actually happened? Like the Kentucky fuck, we'll tell them that meat's fallen from the sky and people ate it and, you know, it's human meat or whatever, you know. Fuck, you man. Should, you should go back I don't in know time what to believe out, anymore, man. You should go back in time and find out what really happened, Evan. I will. I do. If anybody oh. wants to tweet at <laughs> I me, I will. I do. If anybody wants to tweet at me what they think a Kentucky meat shower is, I'll I'll read. I'll tell you what it is. I'll, I'll read. The Just one. Google that shit. It's I'm sure. It's a hillbilly it. 69 is what it is. A well, what the six. fuck is a hillbilly 69, man? What the and fuck? That's is that? when you fuck three of your sisters, bro. Yeah, because hillbillies can't count to Damn. 69. It's oh. <laughs> true. Wow. Yeah, this is weird. Uh, hold up. The, Brando's Gnostic theory relied on the fact that Gnostic swells into translucent jelly-like mass when rain falls on it, often giving the impression that it was falling with the rain. Charles Fort pointed out in his first book, The Book of the Damned, that there had been no rain? What? what? The Book of the Damned. Well, I didn't know I mean, we were dealing with that, a like fucking a Necronomicon, fucking Necronomicon here. Necronomicon? Yeah, w- hold up. This is some this is some revelation shit right here. It was a Kentucky meat shower. Absolutely. It was foretold in a prophecy in ancient book, man, that this would happen, man. And, that was just, that was just the fucking KFC. Necronomicon, my dude. This is not cool. Red corpuscles with a vegetable appearance fell over London on March 12th. Nine days later. Necronomicon, isn't that like a convention for necrophilics? No, it's a book. <laughs> people, people who like to eat <laughs> dead bodies, the Necronomicon. <laughs> I like how it was in Kentucky and London. Yeah. Like, 
I don't basically the same place. I don't want to start shit here right now, but have you seen the movie uh, The Kingsman? Yeah, the Golden Circle, the, yes. the new one that took place in London and then Kentucky. Do you think that the Golden Circle is real and this Kentucky meat shower was them dealing with some shit? Oh, they were predicting it, man. It was setting. Oh, oh. shit. Leaving clues for us to find in in the past. You're right, Billy. Yeah, Holy fuck. damn it, Billy. Holy fuck, man. There's, I we feel like I'm a crisis actor now. We got to start piecing this shit together, man. All right, so we're going to do 10 minutes for Streamlabs. She's got a nice rack. Oh, my God, Pimp Monk. She's, she's drunk on the floor. Of course she has a nice rack. <laughs> That's the best position, drunk on the floor. Uh -oh. That's a position to Pimp Monk. <laughs> Damn. Damn yeah. I come from the land of Kentucky meat shower, man. Drunk on the floor is uh, like a missionary I down here. I'm Mississippi, dude. I'm Mississippi, man. We got Mississippi shower. meat showers. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel yet? Yeah. You feel the kratoms yet? The kratoms uh, haven't like wrecked me, but I I do feel hella chill right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, what we should have done is we should have experimented on how kratom affects your Tetris skills. We should have had you play a oh. couple rounds of Tetris while you were sober, and then compared it to how you perform on kratom, man. I, that's I promise. Gonna, Once we get our first, oh, here we go. So we just got our first one. I promise you, if I lose at Tetris tonight, I'm blaming it on the kratom. <laughs> you can send if you want to send me fan art if you want to send me videos if you want to get anything like that to me you can either do it through my discord there's a there's a suggestion place to do it there and uh or you could do it at uh you could do it through my facebook also like my facebook inbox just look up ben pie and if anybody wants to give me kisses i can give them to ben after you give them to me so Give me kisses. <sighs> yeah, the Kratom is... I think it's kicking in. Feeling pretty <laughs> chill right now. Yeah, it is chill. Yeah. It'll make you feel frisky, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So soon we'll be playing games. We'll, we'll probably take a short break. I'll be sitting in a garbage can. You will? <laughs> I'm pissing myself in the garbage can now off the Kratom. I'm just like that. Yeah, everyone go to the fucking Twitch chat. Check yeah. that shit out. Twitch.tv slash drunken vampire. Yeah. Dude, this Kratom? Yeah. I can see why Pimp Monk is addicted to it. Yeah? <laughs> you think so? Feels so good. You like it? Feels so good right now. Wow. I've Pagan never tried situations. it before, man. Let's see what Pagan situation. Well, it's just really relaxing. Like. It is relaxing. Yes, it is. Oh, Pagan pa great situations. All right. Great show tonight, guys. Looking forward to Pimp Monk's The After Show. Please do the Wednesday show weekly. I don't know. We're, uh, we'll see. You know, maybe... maybe uh, we, we've done successful weekend shows, so maybe throw one of those in every now and then. But I would say... I don't know. I, I think the we new doing, schedule will probably be 24 7, seven uh, days a week. Uh, 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 we were doing Tuesday and Thursday for a little while, and that, that seems to work pretty good. So. Kratom. <laughs> I can't do Kratom anymore, dude. I feel way too relaxed. But we, uh, one thing that we really need, if you, can, if you can spare it, is more Streamlabs. Give us fucking Streamlabs, please. Oh, and. Do Kratom. It's amazing. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> You're enjoying I just it? feel way too relaxed right now. I'm usually like uh, not this relaxed. <laughs> I'm usually uh, not watch this relaxed. Out, man. Don't start shitting yourself, man. I, I, honestly, right now, I, I feel like Actually, I can just... Actually, it has the, the opposite effect. It, it, yeah, it can make you constipated. Oh, it does? Yeah. It could. Hey, uh, Joey A. I started uh, taking a bunch of... Oh, shit, no. Yeah, old fashioned. It, get me one too. <laughs> I uh, I stopped drinking, but I think if we do a a situation where we're all around, I'll drink some old fashioned. We'll probably do a. We got to do a twenty four hour show eventually yeah. here. Yeah. Episode 
24. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably before then. I'll we'll come do. if we do that. I'll try to come to Seattle for that. You That'd be take awesome, the Greyhound man. up here. Well, yeah, man. We we wow. need to get you married to someone who works at the airline, so you get free tickets. Pitmonk, do you have a wife yet? <laughs> we done went through this shit already, man. I'm on kratom. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Kratom is Pimp Monk's one and only love right now, man. That's all. He does no, love it. Billy's one in love with it right now. Look at him. He's I don't want you to take a fucking greyhound up here, Pimp Monk. That takes but too I like long. Man. Why? Do you get laid on it's, them? I, I've got hand jobs on them. Uh, this wow. Is so oh, unappetizing. God. Oh, oh, God. I'm joking. I, I never want to ride a greyhound ever again in my yeah, life. Man. It's old it's man named considered a hand job if you're giving it to yourself. Man. It's old Come man on. named Jarvis gave me knuckle babies right in my lap. I'm joking about it. I don't want to be kicked off a of greyhound. That's the dude who gets jerked off. No, Did we just miss a super chat? Uh, it was a super. Um, yeah. Am I seeing? Said, Damn, I got to get me some kratom. What? Am I seeing phantom it? super chats now? No. Phantom <laughs> stream labs. See, Pim Monk, you're gonna get the whole world hooked on Kratom, man. You're too you don't know how influential you are, man. Why do you why do you do this all the time? You know what? You guys have one week to become a patron also and sign up for the stream. One week for the trap trap. Yeah, bang. if you do it trap after again, the thirty first, you're not getting it. So if you're not a patron and if the numbers get over three K, I will do trap billy. Which which we're really close. It's uh it might happen two thousand six hundred and thirty. Might happen next time around unless somebody goes in there with some some early angel shit and puts that halo that that halo over their head and then I have to get my dick tucked back and I'm not doing Kratom when I'm dressed up as Trap Billy. You'll do it. No, because you're gonna do Kratom. I won't I will not consent yes. when I'm yeah. on I will not consent. I will not consent to Kratom when I'm dressed up as a woman. <laughs> I will consent to Kratom. That will not be good. <laughs> I will not consent. I will not Oh, this is gonna be epic. Holy shit. Yeah. I can't wait. This is gonna be epic. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is Kratom been... carb free? I question. hope. Shit. I, I just I don't think it doesn't have any type of nutritional. Yeah, it can't have it can't have that many carbs in it. It's a little fucking pill. It's just a plant that's like these are just ground up and put into a pill. And I'm really yeah. low carb today. I think I had uh no carbs today. I don't know. Maybe there was some carbs somewhere. Like I had pickles. Maybe maybe there was like one carb all day today. A pickle is a carb? I don't know. I don't, sometimes I don't pickles so. have carbs, but usually not. This was a sour pickle. Oh, so yeah. Sour ones, I don't think, do. It's yeah. the sweet ones that probably and, uh, have There was like, some like, onion, and I don't know if that had carbs or not. Maybe I doubt a little it. bit. Yeah, deal pickle. Deal, You've deal got to get corpse midget on the show. Hey, no thanks. love you. Yeah. I love you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we got a, a pretty big super chat. Thank you. Slick 138. And also, fat old guy. Uh, I don't know about getting Corpse Midget on the show. I'm kind of afraid of him. Can we fly him in for the 24 hour show? <laughs> no, he well, can he hide. Lives, he lives in Romania, so that'd be a pretty expensive okay. ticket. Can we, can we kidnap uh, him? There were three tomatoes a mom, a dad, and a son. The son lagged behind and fell splat on the floor. His dad yelled to him, Catch up, son. Oh my God. That's a dad joke. Waka, waka, waka. Uh, any Pulp Fiction fans will recognize that one, man. <laughs> You know, uh, a, f a father, a tomato father, uh, told his son that he was he was he was actually uh, right neck and neck with him in a race. And the father looked at the son and he said, uh, "Raise the stakes next time." But for today, uh, y your job was well done. And then uh, <laughs> the other tomato son. I do no sex unless it's with Trap Billy. Oh damn! Mm. Oh damn! Good choice. <laughs> Why? See, on Kratom, I would probably cons No, I'm not going to have sex with you. <laughs> That's loyalty, man. Don't don't ever uh, fucking take loyalty for granted. Okay, man. maybe maybe I'll have maybe maybe I'll have sex with you. Shit. <laughs> shit. Hey, Kratom's got Billy all fucked up. Yeah, man. dude, he's locked in this shit. Dude, we're going to be playing video games over on Twitch for at least yeah. an hour. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there, and then after that, we're gonna do a stream on my channel. Yeah. Oh yeah, hell yeah. 
People are saying gonna... I should take more Kratom. Do you want me to blow Ben tonight? I don't. I'm, what? <laughs> How does Kratom have that ben effect? Ben. I don't. I feel like I can't say no right now. I feel like I'm hypnotized. <laughs> Everything is so chill right now. <laughs> I'm too relaxed. <laughs> Uh, I'll probably take another Kratom in a little bit. Dude, we're going to wake I up naked this, together on Kratom, Ben. This scares these me. Are, uh, these are two gram. Sorry, bite-sized crayons. These are two gram pills. Billy would be great on the Joe Rogan podcast. He should have killed me. How much? How many grams do you take, Pimp Monk? Oh, God. I, I, well, more than two. <laughs> yeah, so I just took four. Four pills? So, uh, I, no, I usually, took four grams. I oh. Tablespoon, I fill that up and then I take it. Then a little bit later, I'll take another half of one of these. So, yeah. That's a pretty good dosage, man. Someone yeah. said Billy would be great on the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. yeah he should have killed me. <sighs> Kratom. Kratom. I'm like, yeah, Joe Rodem, Rogan, I came here today to talk about the time I took two Kratoms. Uh, I was butt naked, blacked out, sucking everyone's dick in the room, and Ben was the only one here, so I was working double to time. Everyone's. <laughs> hey, remember, guys, uh, send videos to us if you want us to, like, you know, cringe rap. But don't, don't try and pull some bullshit crisis actor videos on us. Yeah. We're on to you. Because yeah, we need those videos. <laughs> Hashtag blow I, I have to wonder, like, I appreciate all the money you guys give. But why do you do it through Super Chat, like, when you could do Streamlabs? Is there a reason? I'm just wondering, because Google keeps a lot more of the money. If you're going to give us... 10, yeah. So if you give us, you know... But... If you give us $100, then they get 30 of it. Yeah. So, so basically what we're saying is give 30 more percent if you're going to do Super Chat. <laughs> just do Super... Nah. No. If you want to give us $10, just do Super Chat because then it'll actually be $10 that we get. If you haven't tried Super Chat, I recommend it. It's great. Or, or um, Streamlabs is what stream, I mean. Streamlabs. Never mind. Right. Shit. <laughs> Fucking Kratom. No. No. <laughs> no. God you're damn it, talk. Billy. <laughs> Do it right, Billy. Do it right. Oh, God. Do it, do it right. I think I might go get some Chipotle during this break. You want to do that? I kind of want to go. Is it a fuck your high up on Kratom? It will fuck your Kratom. Oh. Oh. Look, Billy said. At least wait 45 minutes after you take it before you eat and make sure you don't eat for two hours before you take it again. So, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna oh, go. Shit. I'm gonna Wise go get some. Words, man. I don't know. Uh, you know what? Hashtag blow Ben. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting blown. Blow him away at Tetris. The Koreans will be watching oh. on Twitch TV. Drunken Ben Pie. Yes. Be there or be square. Good night, everybody. Night. <laughs>